What you guys got another video here for you on things that you need to disable on Windows 10 right now. Now, if you've got unnecessary features on Windows 10 that you're not using, you may as well turn them off and save some resources. So I thought I'd show you some of these things that you can disable because you're probably not even using them. So you might as well disable them. So right click on the start button and we're going to go to apps and features here. Once we open this up, we can go up to the top right hand side and click on programs and features and this will take us to this page where we can then click on turn windows features on or off now this is going to allow us to disable some features in here that we're not going to be using or needing on this system now this is going to be completely up to you whether you need these or not but personally i have no use for internet explorer 11 uh, Internet Explorer 11 was uh, replaced with Edge, so we have no use for this. And uh, obviously, Windows have uh, no real rush to remove this from your system, so I'm going to be turning this feature off. You can leave it on if you wish, but I have no use for it, so I'm going to turn it off. Next thing we're going to do is going to come down here, and you can see media features here. Now, this is for your media player, this is for uh, for your actual media player now there is other media players out there which I do use so I don't really need the media player but if you do need a media player then you can leave that on you can use something like VLC which has a lot better um, a codex for all the videos and music and stuff like that, that you're going to be using so it's entirely up to you whether you use something like that but I'm going to turn Windows Media Player off but if you need it on then leave it on but Microsoft have replaced that with uh, the other programs which they use now which is like groove music and stuff like that so let's go ahead and move on to the next section which is Microsoft print to PDF now Microsoft print to PDF you can turn this feature off if you wish I've got Microsoft Office which I can use for printing uh, to a PDF so if I wanted to do that I can do next I'm going to remove the uh, differential compression API support then I'm going to remove Windows PowerShell 2.0 we're using Windows PowerShell 5.0 I think now so we have no reason to have uh, the Windows PowerShell 2.0 uh, on so we can turn that off remove uh, work folders client as well I'm going to remove that from the system just going to check here for some other things which we can remove here uh, from here so let me just go up a little bit here print and document services and that's probably going to have some stuff in there which we can remove so again windows fax and scan i don't use that but if you do use that feature then obviously leave it enabled uh, but i don't need that on here so i'm going to remove that and also internet printing client i don't need that either so I'm going to remove those from the system. Click OK. And of course, that's going to then uh, take those features out of your Windows operating system. And that means they won't be on the system and running. So you can always enable those at a later date. It's very simple and easy to do. You just go back in there and put the ticks in them and restart the system. And it will put those features back on. So you're not it's not a destructive type of removal so next up we're going to be dealing with Cortana Cortana is a bit of a telemetry hog it will collect a lot of telemetry and also I have no use for it I don't use it and uh, but if you do use it and you want to keep it on the system by all means do so I'll show you two methods of removing this with uh, Windows 10 home users and pro will be different okay so this is the Windows 10 pro version I'm going to go into the group policy editor here and what we're going to do is go to uh, computer configuration then administrative templates once we're inside here go down to Windows components and I'm just going to quickly uh, pull this down and expand this here to the search area so inside here you will see search and we're going to be uh, disabling uh, the Cortana from this location so you can see here allow Cortana uh, just double click on this one and we are going to click disable and that disables Cortana and also we're going to go into uh, the other areas which you can see here we've got allow Cortana about lock screen and we're going to disable that as well we don't want that on the system and there's another one there which you can see we've got allow uh, cloud search I'll disable that as well but I'm also going to allow a Cortana page in OOBE we're going to uh, get rid of that as well and disable that so all we need to do here is apply these 
and uh, what we'll do is just do that a cloud search let me go ahead and quickly do that as well now also if you don't use OneDrive you can disable the OneDrive as well but I'm just going to leave that on occasionally I do use OneDrive so I do uh, tend to leave that on so let me just quickly remove that cloud search as well just so we've got that done there we go so that's all done so now if you've got a Windows 10 home system you will need to uh, basically uh, use the registry editor so let's go down to the search box and type reg edit inside here and this will open up the registry editor so you need to go to h key local machine then software and then we're going to come down all the way down here to where it says policies and inside here we need to go to the microsoft folder open that one up let me just slide this down here then we're going to go windows and inside here what we're looking for is our windows search now you already see that there is some registry files in here and that's because the group policy has added those into uh, our uh, registry here so basically you would need to replicate what's inside there so allow Cortana and you can see allow Cortana above the lock and allow search to use location and stuff like that so you can add those in and all you'd need to do here is right click inside here and go new and then create a new D word 32 bit value and then just put allow Cortana just like you can see up above there so just type that out exactly like it is now I've already done uh, that already so I'm not going to do it again but basically type it out just like this and push enter make sure it's set to zero and that will then disable that on there now you can do the same for the other ones as well they all need to be on zero so just create those files and give them a zero to lock it down so it's not going to be working okay if you wanted to remove them you can just right click and delete these keys that you created and that will go back to default okay that's all you need to do there so let's take a quick look inside the settings pane here and look inside Cortana and you'll see now that everything has been disabled and it's all been turned off and that's exactly how I like it so that's all done uh, we're going to move on to the next section I just want to quickly touch on privacy here because uh, I want to try and keep it all in one video so inside the privacy area inside your settings you're going to have a bunch of settings inside here now I pretty much turn all of this stuff off because this is what's going to be collecting all the data so all of this here um, I turn off this is advertising and allow other stuff to be sent to Microsoft online speech recognition all that sort of stuff inking and typing personalization and diagnostic feedback all that sort of stuff is going to be sent back so I'd like to disable all of this okay and clear any sort of data that's being collected out and next up you're going to go for other stuff here so feedback frequency I'm just going to put this never so you're not going to give them any feedback and of course um, go into activity here store my activity history on this device I'm going to remove that and also you can see show act uh, activities for these accounts so I'm going to disable in all of this stuff and you can clear your activity for uh, the history for that as well so you can see my email address is there so I can now turn all this off and clear all this information make sure that all this is off if you want to leave some of this stuff on by all means do so I personally don't want it all on it just really sort of slows the system down and just makes it a little bit cumbersome because what it's going to be doing is collecting data and sending it all back which I don't really want location and camera and all that sort of stuff I really don't need all that turned on camera on the other hand if you're using a camera by all means leave this on and allow it for certain applications okay so for instance Microsoft Edge if you're not using Microsoft Edge you don't need the camera uh, allowing that to go through there but if you've got say for instance other software that you are using you may need to allow that to go through so for instance if it was say zoom or something like that you may need to allow that to go through to begin uh, your camera feed same thing for your microphone you can turn off your microphone uh, setting here and allow it to go through for certain things like um, say for instance your Logitech software or Camtasia software or, or Zoom or gaming or stuff like that okay notifications I have no use for so I'm just going to have all this stuff off account info all off contacts all off and calendar as well I turn all this sort of stuff off but if you do use this sort of stuff by all means 
uh, you can leave some of this stuff on phone calls call history all of this stuff I turn off I don't have it on at all emails I don't use either I use uh, Outlook so I don't need to worry about uh, using this sort of stuff here and also I don't need a mail and calendar or people or tasks or any of that sort of stuff okay this for me can be removed from Windows 10 if they did that I think it will be a lot better people will be a lot more happier if they started to remove this background apps again by all means you can go through here singly and turn stuff off if you don't use any of this stuff then turn it off because these are background apps that run in the background app diagnostics and also other things like uh, automatic file download and all this other area here I've just disabled everything as you can see here so it'll be a great feature if Windows in the future remove that I can't see them doing it but I think it'll be a great way forward for bringing back the trust to the people if they remove all that sort of stuff so I'm going to right click on this PC here and we're going to go to advanced uh, system settings inside here uh, we're going to go into the performance inside here we've got our performance options now you can see let windows choose here I'm going to adjust for the best performance that will remove all of the ticks now sometimes it can be a bit harsh so I'm going to leave in smooth edges for screen fonts and I'm also going to leave in another tick which is to show thumbnails instead of icons and I'll leave that in as well and apply that and OK all the rest I leave off you probably won't even see a difference but you will probably see a boost difference in your PC because obviously it can be a bit of a resource hog having all of those beautiful uh, features next up we're going to go into the search box and type power and I'm clicking on power and sleep that's where I want to go inside here we'll have an area called uh, power and sleep here which I'll take a look at in a second but before I do that I want to go to notifications and also actions and turn off get notifications for apps and other senders I don't want all that sort of stuff so I'm going to turn all of this stuff off and uh, that should uh, quieten things up okay so let's go back here I just go down to all the power and sleep here now there is other areas which I've covered in other videos I'm not going to go into here like projecting to this PC and all that focus assist and all that sort of stuff I've covered all that just want to concentrate on the privacy side of things here now you'll see here there is no ultimate performance if you want to add ultimate performance in and get the maximum performance out of your CPU and system then you're going to need to open up a command prompt and uh, put in a command I'll leave these commands inside the video description so you can use them just paste in this a command here and this is going to add our ultimate performance so you can add that into uh, your system here so I'm just going to add that in for you here I'll leave the link for that in the video description just copy and paste it in there and when I close this up and open it up again so let me just quickly close this window down and open up additional power settings you'll see there is an ultimate performance there so if you do want to use that for an IN PC by all means enable that feature I've got AMD Ryzen balanced on there and I'm going to leave that enabled for myself but if you do want the high performance by all means enable it someone did answer ask that in a video I have created a video on that a long time ago but I just wanted to add it in this video just to touch on it again quickly so it's all in one video okay so let's move on to the next section here we can go into services now I'm not going to spend a whole amount of time inside here if you want to see separate videos and updated videos for this then let me know in the comments section below but basically there's a bunch of services that you're probably not going to need anymore and you can disable them and basically you would go into here startup type put it in disable click apply and OK if the service is running you can stop that service now there is some telemetry ones in here which I've covered already but if you want to see an updated video then let me know in the comments section so I'll just disable a couple of these so you can see here exactly uh, what I'm doing here and what you need to do now there's plenty of lists online as well you can see here connected user experience and telemetry that tells you everything there is just hit the stop button that will stop the service and then put disable and that will disable that service inside here there's going to be some other stuff as well which you can disable uh, which are all telemetry based as well and you can also use software which will do that also diagnostic uh, policy service and again I'm going to be stopping that service and disabling it now I'm not going to spend a whole heap of time in here because the video would be about an hour long because there's a bunch of other stuff that I like to do in here 
and I try to make separate videos to try and keep these videos down so I just wanted to show you some of the areas which you can do but just be very careful because there is stuff that you will need now I don't need uh, download maps manage or anything like that so I'm going to disable this and apply an OK and there's a bunch of other stuff inside here like uh, geolocation service again I don't use that so if you do want uh, to be geolocated then by all means leave that enabled uh, weather and stuff like that if you use all that then you will need that on to get a geolocation of where you are situated in the world so let me just come down here and show you one more here and then we'll move on to the next section secondary log on things like this you are not going to need that so just apply an OK and if the service is running by all means uh, to say stop that service as well with that done uh, we can now close this off so let's move on to another section here and we'll move on to this one here so we're going to go into the registry editor open this up and then once that's open we're going to go to this location where it says H key local machine then go down to software and then what we're going to do is pull down and we're going to go to policies again and inside here we're going to go to Microsoft open that up and then we're going to come down and we're looking for Windows inside there we're looking for data collection now what you need to do here is you can add in a registry key which will stop uh, Windows from collecting data so uh, basically you can put allow and then telemetry inside here and then once you've got that in there you can set that to zero so push uh, enter here and then double click on this and put that to zero if you put it to zero it will stop the system from collecting uh, telemetry so that's that one done if you want to do that on the group policy I'll show you quickly on how to do it in the group policy as well so that's for Windows 10 home users for Windows 10 Pro users they get the benefit of the group policy editor by typing GP edit inside the search box here and then we can go to compute configuration administrative templates Windows components and then you can drill down to where it says data collection let me just open this up a little bit more here data collection and preview builds inside here once you click on this you'll see a bunch of stuff which you can mess with inside here allow telemetry so I'm just gonna disable this so enable that and you can set this to security here which is enterprise only so we're just going to whack that inside there and apply an OK and of course uh, if you see anything else that you wish to disable by all means uh, you can do uh, inside the group policy there's loads of stuff in there which you can disable type in the task scheduler inside your search box and this will open up the task scheduler and we can make some changes inside here so inside here we're going to go to Microsoft and then Windows open that up there just make that a little bit bigger just stretch that out and we're going to come down here and there's a couple of areas that we want to take care of here and disable so customer experience improvement program and you can see here there is a couple of little areas here just right click on these and disable you can see they're running I'm going to disable these two that takes care of those and then what we can do here is also have a look here we're going to go up to application experience click on there and we're going to disable all of these as well so program data you can see here we're just they're all running as well just disable all those now I did do a lockdown video for group policy but not many people watched it I think it was probably a little bit too much room so but if you do want to see more advanced stuff then you need to let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to make those videos for you because I try to make videos for everyone so we're going to go into the maps area here I'm just going to disable this and there's a bunch of other stuff in here I'm not going to spend far too much time in here if you want to see separate videos on these topics let me know what you want to see in the comments section below and I'll make a separate video for each of these segments okay now also there is the zero and zero shut up 10 which allows you to disable a lot of features and this is another must-have better kit for Windows 10 okay now all of the stuff I've showed you is reversible sometimes when you're using 
some of those uh, debloater scripts or scripts online what they will do is disable and delete certain stuff and it would be impossible to reverse and you would have to then reinstall windows with this method you can actually reverse it this is a portable application you can go into uh, actions here and apply only recommended settings say yes to do this it will create a restore point and it will start to disable a lot of the stuff here so you can go through this a lot quicker by using this method but there is some other areas that i do like to still go into the registry and group policy and stop those physically and the services and that way i know for 100 percent everything is stopped and it will give you a lot more better performance with windows 10 and also it stops a lot of stuff that you don't really want running and again you can go really aggressive on this uh, but don't go too crazy there is some more uh, aggressive uh, settings inside here which will literally uh, disable everything and you will start to run into problems so be very careful when running tools like this all the stuff I've showed you is pretty much easily reversible uh, just take one step at a time and see how you go you can disable OneDrive from in here which saves you a lot of time this is great for Windows 10 home users that don't have the group policy editor and uh, they don't want to go into the registry you can use something like this which will speed the process up and make it a lot safer for you because this is uh, reversible you can actually reverse some of these you will need to restart your PC and again this doesn't install anything it's a portable application and you're pretty much good to go and that is some of the things or unnecessary features that you will need to uninstall and remove and disable inside Windows 10 very simple and easy to do hope this video helps you out my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you want to see more of this sort of stuff let me know in the comment section below or join our discord server thanks again for watching Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.